here in Spanish Wells, rock lobster, fishing is a way of life. This is what we do to earn a living. If you abuse it, you'll lose it. And so we try our best to pass on to the next generation of fishermen that come along. Red Lobster's been sourcing rock lobster from the Bahamian Spanish Wells community for over 30 years. Because of our size and scale, we can use our influence to drive change. So we partnered with World Wildlife Fund to support fishery improvement projects in the Caribbean. One of the key goals of our fishery improvement project is to ensure that there is a healthy population of lobster. And that helps fishermen as well because it's securing their livelihood for the long term. My name is Chuck Pinda and I'm a seventh generation fisherman with my sons becoming the next generation. I've been a seaman my whole life. No one gives us a paycheck. Our entire livelihood is based on what's there for us and what we get with our own ends. So the Fishery Improvement Project has really created a system of checks and balances. Regulations are put in place to ensure that the lobster population can continue to reproduce and thrive. Here in the Bahamas, the legal length to harvest rock lobster is five and a half inches. We put the tail of the rock lobster next to the measuring stick. If it falls within the length of the handle, it's the legal size tail to be harvested. Very important that we leave those that are undersized and egg bearing for them to grow and to breed and to spawn. I noticed that one of them looked kind of borderline. I think we need to uh, eighth of an inch short. So yeah, we're just gonna let her go. You want it for tomorrow? This is the way you need to do it. So the Bahamas has some other regulations in place for the rock lobster fishery. There's a closed season that's put into place, and that's to allow time for the lobster population to grow. Here in the Bahamas, the rock lobster season is from August 1st until March 31st. During those months in the off season, the rock lobster is spawning. My nephew is Thomas Pinder, the son of Chop Pinder, and together they are two of the most sustainable fishermen on Spanish Wells. We have been supplying red lobster with lobster for 34 years. The darker the tail, the deeper it comes up. We've been able to sustain the fishing industry and grow it tremendously. The Bahamian rock lobster fishery is an exemplary fishery. World Wildlife Fund is working with Red Lobster to help improve fisheries in other areas as well, in the Caribbean, in South America, and in other fisheries similar to the Bahamas. There are actually more rock lobster here now than what there were 30 years ago. As long as we practice these sustainable ways of harvesting, there will be a future for rock lobster fishing.